What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. So on the vlog today, we're gonna be going over a layered haircut for super thick hair. I've got some fun techniques packed in there for you guys. We're gonna do it with a razor as well. Also to make things even better, I got a live model for today's video. So I'm sure you guys will like that as well. Now, last video, I promised I was gonna give away the Neuro Angle Iron from Paul Mitchell. So today I'm giving that away to somebody that subscribed to the channel and also made a comment in the comments below saying that they would really like the iron. The winner for today is right here. It's Lion. L-I-O-N-N-101. Uh, he says, I would love to win this iron because as a new stylist, your videos are a help and the top tools also help with creating the best for my clients. So congratulations to you. Make sure you email contest at freesaloneducation.com and say that you're the winner of the Neuro Angle Iron and leave your address, your phone number, and your full name so that we can get that iron out to you. Now, as we move into today's video, I'm gonna start another giveaway because I just like giving things away and I got a lot of stuff. If you can't see all those boxes back there are full of hair tools and products. So. I don't want them anymore, I need to give them away. So here we go. So today, uh, we're gonna start a giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also comment below that you would like to win this Vibrastrate iron. It's a really cool iron and we're gonna use it in today's video to finish up the style. So no need to extend this any longer. Let's get started with the step-by-step, -step. here we go. All right guys, so this is my model for the day. This is Amy. What we're going to do on her hair, she's got really, really thick hair. Um, she also has a shaved underneath, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. That is not something I did. It's something that she does even on her own. So what I wanted to do is just clean that up. But I also like the fact that she has that because it does take out a lot of weight from the underneath. I probably wouldn't go up as high as it is, but because it's already there, uh, it is what it is. So for the sectioning, I create a horseshoe section all the way around around parietal ridge, back around a little bit lower on the crown. And the reason I go a little bit lower is because I'm going to cut layers underneath this U shape or this horseshoe shape on the top. I'm gonna to cut those layers and then the rest of the hair is gonna hang over top of it. So we're gonna be creating a disconnection and my goal with that is to make sure that I have that hair that falls over it so I don't have short layers everywhere. So right there you can see I kind of expose that underneath um, section. That again, she doesn't go to a salon to get that done. They just kind of shave it up. So I wouldn't go quite as high up on the occipital bone, but that's just my personal preference. And it actually does work pretty well for her hair. I'm using the Andis Envy. Uh, this is a cordless clipper. I'm using a one guard on it. Um, just to go in and again, clean it up. I'm not really trying to do anything fancy underneath here. I just want it to look nice. So I take the one guard and then I go through, I go a little bit, a half step down take it a little tighter around the nape, and then I go in with my Andis T trimmer just to finish it up, create some lines in the back, and that is how we do the bottom of the haircut. Now I let down the interior part of the haircut, and what I'm gonna be using, the tool of my choice uh, for this cut is the um, Donald Scott Swivel Twist Razor. Um, the reason I like this tool is because I can use any comb that I want. I'm using the YS Park 339 comb to get a nice tight tension, and I like a smaller comb. I also spray all over the head the Donald Scott Prepare, which is a, it's a liquid tool glide for the razor. It also is pure coconut and sunflower oil, so it gives a nice slip to the hair. It helps keep the hair protected when using it for razor cutting. So the thing I like about the twist is you'll see I'm not carving into the hair. I slide through it. So I pick where I want to cut and I bring everything straight out from the head and I'm working in basically pie shaped sections all the way around the underneath of the hair, starting at the mid shaft and working my way to the end, sliding that razor down. What that's gonna do is remove weight for me, but keep her length. If you're afraid of cutting into your guest's length, then what I would do is just drop that length out and then do your slide cutting. Uh, for me, I keep the length right at the tip of my finger so I know exactly where it's at. I'm gonna continue these pie shaped sections uh, around the head to the right as well. The only difference is now my 
my fingers are pointing down. And we've talked about this in many videos, but as I work to the right hand side of the head, you never want to comb your guide into the new hair. So I'm always combing the new hair towards the guideline. So on the left hand side, I comb the hair towards the middle. And then on the right hand side, I'm still combing the hair towards the middle. So I make a shift in my hand position, which keeps me consistent, keeps my sectioning there and my guideline there as well. So just working my way all the way to the front hairline and then sliding from mid shaft to the ends, keeping the length, but removing the weight. Now, this is a pretty simple haircut because all I'm going to do is drop down one half of that U shape and I'm going to do the same thing, sliding. What I wanted to do here was overdirect everything to the very front, create a stationary guide, create layering around the face, but then pushing that weight to the back. So what we did was we created the layers underneath. We took out a ton of weight, but now I'm pushing that hair over top of it. So at the back of the U shape, if you think about it, that's going to be the longest point. The shortest point is right in the front of the face. So we're creating layers and then the longest point is falling over top of those layers that we created in the back. Also, um, what you'll notice about this technique is we're creating a fringe and using the Donald Scott twist, it has one side of it cuts 100%, which is the side I'm using right now. And then what I do is I go through at the very end and I use the 25%, you can see it right there, 25% cutting side, which takes out 25% of the hair to just remove some bulk. So I comb it around the face, 25% carve it a little bit below the mid shaft and just work my way through it and that lightens it up so it's not so heavy. Now I'm going to go in with the uh, Bricado Conditioning Mousse. It's Cloud 9. Um, I, I'm a mousse. I really love mousse. <laughs> so I'm always on the search for my favorite mousse. This one I love because it's really fluffy and thick feeling, but it doesn't feel heavy on the hair. It's conditioning. Um, it helps repair the hair as well. Um, so nice, nice thick mousse. And then also the root fix. Uh, it's a root lifter mousse that I spray right at the base because I'm going to go in and do a round brush blow dry. I wanted to build up some volume. The blow dryer I'm choosing today, this is the Minerva blow dryer. I've been giving away on the podcast quite a bit. So if you guys listen to our podcast live on Wednesday nights, you have a chance to win uh, one of these blow dryers from Minerva. This thing is super powerful. So I go in, I do a power blow dry. And now I'm going to section off the mohawk section of the hair and start in with my ergo uh, round brush. This is the number 43 brush. So um, it's not the largest one that we have. It's a little bit, it's more like a medium size. I like using that because it gives me a little more volume. People think that the bigger the round brush, the bigger the volume, but it's actually the complete opposite. Um, the, so I like to use a medium brush when I'm looking for some volume in the hair. Notice how when I'm blow drying, I work that section back and forth. I also use the nozzle on the blow dryer to keep the hair nice and smooth, and I allow it to pass over the hair to keep that cuticle down. Shiny hair is when the cuticle is laying down, so that's what you want to be creating. You don't want to be shaking the blow dryer back and forth all over the place. Now I'm going to speed it up because I do the same thing all the way around the head. Just basically blow drying and wrapping it back off of her face is my goal with this. Now, as I move into the top portion, I'm going to take horizontal partings across the top. Let's call it horizontal because it's right in front of me. Um, and I'm going to section it. I'm, I'm blow drying, round brushing back off of the face um, until I get to the midpoint of the head. And then I'm going to round brush everything forward to create extra volume. So you can see we're still doing that. They call it the truck and trailer method, I guess. Um, just working that blow dryer up against the brush. And now I'm blow drying forward, which is going to give me maximum volume right around the front of her head. I didn't need maximum volume in the very back of the head because of the fact that she's got so much thick hair back there. But she likes to wear her hair kind of tossed to either side in the front. That's why we cut it to almost appear like we we're going to cut it for a center parting, but I wanted to keep it more symmetrical because she likes to toss it back and forth on both sides. Now to finish it up, this is that Viber Straight Iron. This is the giveaway that we're doing. So if you want to win this iron, it is an inch and a half iron that vibrates as you smooth it. You can curl with it, smooth, straighten, do whatever you want. Um, the vibration separates the hair as it goes through. So it, 
it really allows you to not have as many passes over the hair, so it creates less damage. Um, this one has two separate settings, so it's really good. It's a, it's a good consumer-based iron. They also have a professional version as well. Then we're going to finish it off with the Bricado Maximum Hold Hairspray. Um, this is basically one of those sprays that will stop a bird in flight, we used to say. Um, it's super firm hold, so I just spray it a little bit just to hold it in place, and you can see all those layers, all the movement that we created in this cut. It looks nice and light, um, but also still thick and full um, as well it's much easier for her to manage check out the bottom where that shaved part is it's nice and airy it's got a nice textured look to it so hope you like it let me know in the comments below thanks for watching all right guys and like always if you like the video then make sure you hit the like button below subscribe to the channel if you want a chance to win this Vibra Straight Iron. Also remember, if you want any of the tools that you saw in this video, we have them all for sale on freesaloneducation.com. And plus, we have a ton more free education videos on our website, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.